Hey guys, Tom Wiley here, and I've had a lot of interest in the vlogging rig that I use. This is what this is my current setup that I use for vlogging, as well as just this is my my go-to camera rig. Um, I've had a lot of interest in it. Why I built it the way I did, um, the different features of it. Um, yeah, just carrying it around town gets a lot of attention, and so I thought I would just tell you about it break it down into all of its components. I just upgraded the uh, tripod and ball head parts of it. I really love the, the um, updates. So figured I'd just break it down for you um, in case you find it helpful. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the vlog rig as I have it right now. And I'm just gonna break down the parts, I'll just go ahead and show what I have. And then if you want to do a smartphone setup, you could do it like this if you want, or you could just adapt pieces and parts of it to use for an actual camera setup. So uh, the base part of it is this Joby Gorillapod. This is the 3K size. Um, the, it, it can stand up to a three kilogram weight for the camera. Um, I really like it. I This is the one that I have. This is the one you've seen me carrying around. Um, and this is the the hybrid model. And it does not include this thing. So I'll just cover that up right now. This is what the hybrid model looks like. It has a ball head that's adjustable by this one screw right there. That, that uh, adjusts it for both pan and the ball head here. And then it just tightens with that one knob it's okay, but it's too lightweight for this setup. Having the phone um, and a battery and a mic is just too heavy, um, both for the ball head, because that tends to slip sometimes, but also these legs got so loose that they would just slide and collapse like that all the time. So it was just, it would, uh, it was always sagging. It was, I would set it up and then it would just start leaning and sagging and eventually fall down. So that was really annoying. Also, this quick release on top, um, I don't like. Basically, it's, it's cool. You just push the button right here and this adapter plate comes off. This is what you screw into the bottom of your camera. It's a quarter 20 thread there. So it would go, say, onto a smartphone mount. So that would go onto a smartphone. I'll just throw an iPod in here just for an example. Um, so that, you would want that plate to line up like that, and then you can clip it in here, and that works. But I don't know if this was a defect of this particular one that I got, or if it's the same with all of these hybrid model Gorilla Pods, but there's there's looseness to this joint, the, that quick release joint right there, um, where this slides in. There's enough slop in that joint that you, I can feel right now. There's a, there's a like a, a rocking, you know. There's looseness, so you can feel it literally. If I were to hold it like this, which is the idea of kind of the selfie stick mode of doing it like this. Every little motion, it goes clunk, 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 and you can actually hear that in the, the final video. You hear this clunk, 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 clunk sound. It's really annoying and it's really hard to get rid of. But I couldn't do anything about that, that joint short of like adding some material to it and it just was not working. So I always had to constantly just hold it right here so I could stabilize that joint with my hand and keep it tight but that made it so I had less reach. I couldn't reach way down here. I always had to grab it up here. So it was annoying. So I just upgraded. Um, so I'll put this guy aside. I just upgraded to the 3K size and I really, really like it. It is very, as you can see, it's having no trouble standing up. I'll even push down on it and add some weight. It's having no trouble holding up and it's the joints are very stiff granted it's brand new so I'm sure it'll loosen up some over time especially these joints because these get the most action as you move them um, 
but as you can see it's all really tight and I'm I'm moving it around like this I don't feel any slop any motion anywhere which I really really like um, and that's gonna be really helpful as far as sound goes too um, let's see so this is the 3k model I would recommend for the legs themselves and I'm just gonna pull off the actual tripod base there's a tightening screw down here so that just comes loose like so let's set that aside for now so this is the 3k tripod base um, as I you know as indicated by the name three kilograms is what it's designed to hold for a maximum I would recommend um, for you know general purpose vlogging or you know holding especially if you're actually putting a camera on here not just a smartphone definitely go 3k or 5k don't mess with the hybrid or the um, what's it called XLR zoom don't mess with anything smaller than the 3k they also want had one called the focus and then I believe that's supposed to hold 3k I think but the I, ha I had saw some reviews about these joints right here popping loose and the legs just snapping off so I decided to stay away from the focus model and I went with the 3k um, I thought the 5 might be a little overkill for my setup plus the 3 was like what two-thirds the price or something it was a lot cheaper so 3k is what I'm using now and I really like it um, however don't in my in my opinion I would not recommend getting the full 3k kit where it's the the 3k legs plus the 3k ball head which is this part this is not a Joby product right here so I'll show you that in a second but um, it because the 3k basically has these legs but then the ball ball um, joint ball head on here is this style of quick release so it has the push button it has the little slide apart mechanism quick release um, two reasons I don't like that number one it's not standardized so it's only going to work with that piece and you 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 can't easily interchange it what I realized when I kind of first got this set up together I realized hmm wouldn't it be awesome if I could keep the ball head on the tripod and then just quickly release the camera section the camera plus microphone from the base just take that off and quickly and easily click it onto a full-size tripod with long legs for doing taller you know higher up stuff and then immediately very quickly quick release it off of that click it back onto my little little Joby and and go running gunning that way wouldn't that be awesome so that's what I ended up setting up but I had to do a crazy workaround with this style quick release it just did not work well plus the annoyances of the looseness of it um, so I decided to standardize with what's called a um, Arca Swiss mount and that's what this is right here this plus the part that I need to pull off here real quick this is the Arca Swiss style setup so the Arca Swiss setup is basically this dovetail joint the way this joint goes together and then you have a tightening screw that clamps it so it's just a it's a dovetail joint but it's quick release so you can just loosen it like that and then pull it apart this one's this has these stopper screws so um, so that you can set it up so that it doesn't fall apart easily so in case you don't have this all the way tight your camera doesn't fall off but anyway that's the Arca Swiss mount standard I really like that for quick release it's standardized so if you get one of these um, base plates that can go on the camera you just get one that says it's compatible with Arca Swiss and you know it'll fit with any Arca Swiss clamp base so that's pretty cool 
Um, so this is very similar to, at least functions similar to, the Joby ball head models. Um, in the 5K size, and as well as the X model for the Focus. Remember the Focus tripod I mentioned where the legs break off occasionally? Um, the, the Focus ball head I think is fine from, from the reviews I saw and everything. It looked like the, the Focus ball head was okay. Um, the 5K ball head is okay. It still has, both of those have the Arca Swiss quick release mount, but the 3K, the one that actually belongs with these legs, the 3K has this proprietary, you know, um, sliding quick release thing from Joby, which I don't like. And it's not standardized with other manufacturers that I can tell. So what I did is 3K legs plus the equivalent of a an X model um, uh, ball head that would be appropriate for the focus kit or the 5k ball head you could just get the full 5k kit that would look similar to this except this would be a Joby part you could get the whole 5k kit but it's like 170 bucks or something whereas this whole setup that also came with this bonus um, I, uh, uh, smartphone mount plus uh, well this adapter came with it um, that I'll show you in a second this was all 80, 80 bucks basically so 80 bucks versus 180 bucks almost so anyway this was a way to, to make it a lot cheaper um, that's why I went with these legs versus going to 5k they were also, I'm guessing, a little smaller and maybe lighter weight than the 5K, but I don't know. So anyway, legs aside, 3K legs is what I got. Moving on to the ball head, like I said, the the, the X ball head or the uh, appropriate for the Focus kit or the 5K ball head, I think would be great. This is a, it's cool, cool Hauda or something is the name. You'll see it in the document that I'm giving you listing all these parts. This is an awesome little ball head. I really like it. Um, the reason I got this one was, A, it was cheaper. It was about half price, $25 versus $50 for the equivalent Joby ball head. Um, it has the Arca Swiss quick release um, plate there. It has this lever style release for the actual swiveling ball head um, versus having a, a you know, a knob so I kind of like having the lever because it's just easier to operate quickly and then this knob is for the swiveling or the pan feature um, I really like it um, so anyway for half price oh plus not only can it so you know I said it's basically the equivalent of the five, the Joby 5k ball head model this can hold up to eight kilograms though of weight supposedly that's what it's rated this is the uh, the Cool Howda E1 model. I think it's the smallest one they make, but it's really cool. I really like it. It's very solidly built. Yeah, it's awesome. It does have a 3 8 mounting hole instead of a quarter inch, so you do need an adapter. But luckily, the 3K legs came with this little 3 8 by quarter inch bushing that just screws onto those threads. And then the ball head screws onto that. You tighten it up with a screwdriver under here, and there you go. So now you have legs plus a ball head that's easily adjustable. It holds position really well. Um, this ball head, if it's not getting tight enough with this lever motion here, you can actually pull it out, adjust the lever to a new, a new detent, and then tighten it so now it, it tightens and it, it stays right there when it's fully tight so I have a lot more range to really crank in on that if I need to I like it on this setting though it seems to get plenty tight for what I'm doing so anyway cool ball head for half the price of a Joby part I like the looks of it too it's very very sturdy CNC machined it's really cool so I like that um, moving on this this is the 
iPhone or smartphone mount that came with the 3K legs, at least in that particular uh, Amazon package. This is kind of nifty. It's cheap. It's plastic. You know, I just consider it a free bonus. I will use it, but not as my primary setup. So, legs and ball head are taken care of. 